And hello and welcome again to the garden. It is April 5th and uh, we are just doing a little catch up here. It's been a few days since we last been back and ooh, this one's starting to overflow a bit so I may actually move or turn this one off or down. Yeah, ooh, very, very watery. We'll move this around or along. We've got quite a bit of that over there. We'll give this one a little extra soak over here. Do that anyway. Uh, we're doing that because uh, yeah, we sort of uh, I don't want to say overloaded on the water, but uh, it's a little soppy over here, so it doesn't need any more. So we'll uh, let that settle in. Uh, but it has been uh, a little uh, warmer and uh, drier past couple of days here, and uh, there's supposed to be some rain due in at the end of the week. So uh, that should help space it out pretty nicely where we're giving it here right today. But uh, to give it an update, uh, it is more a matter of just sort of keeping on what's here. As you can see, the roses continue on. Suzanne and I are at her today. Suzanne is the uh, rose, rose printing apprentice at this point. Uh, she's been given some extra some advice by both Stripey and uh, Y, and so she is taking to that. In the meantime, we're just doing some overall maintenance, giving everything a good drink here. Uh, the Society Garlic is uh, continuing to start putting out more blooms, as you can sort of see right there. And uh, there, and uh, the main uh, rose bush down here, is, as you can see, we got some more ones coming along. Suzanne just did a little bit of trimming back and getting rid of some of the dead stuff on this one, and she's doing the same for the other one here. She got a big prune back back on uh, Friday, and so there's only a couple of uh, blossoms right now, but there are more that will be forthcoming along. And hey, how are you? And uh, and we got Ian over here. He's uh, about to water up uh, his thing. So it's a little bit of a maintenance day we got going there. So this is my video tour thing. So don't mind you being in the background of this. So <laughs> no worries, no worries and all that. So just, uh, you know, we're, we're spreading the fame. <laughs> so anyway, so so anyway, so uh, so the front looks pretty good. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn uh, this off and down for the moment. We'll give a little extra watering to uh, some of this stuff back there in a bit. Now then, over in the main part where we've got the beds all going, uh, it's sort of a mixed record at this point, which is both, you know, good and bad. I mean, it's kind of to be expected. So let's go over the good first. Um, the edamame over here is uh, really starting to kick in. It was this side uh, was the one that sprouted first. You can see as well along. Meanwhile, the other side, which had the other variety, again, I can't remember which is which. I've got the records down somewhere. Even though these are just now starting to come up, are now starting to come up. So it uh, looks like, you know, everything's sort of moving in fits and starts here. But uh, it is all doing pretty well. So uh, this one should really start to thrive and take off here uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, over here, the uh, summer squash is uh, continuing to go very well. The tomatoes, uh, we've got uh, this batch over here. You can sort of see down there in the center, or I can maybe do it better right up there. We've got a few things coming along. This one over here, more of a question. There's sort of one down there at the center, but it's been slightly nibbled, so I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. Hopefully that will take off a bit further, but we'll have to cross our fingers on that. The tulips doing fantastically well. Let me put aside for the shadow right here. As you can see, uh, they're just sort of continuing to make their way along. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, ones just about to blossom, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on those. Oops, also weed to get rid of. We'll take care of that. The rosemary is uh, seems to be reasonably established at this point. Uh, again, it seems like there has been a bit of new growth there at the bottom, too. So uh, we'll see where all this all takes us. It may just be stasis for now, but... The leaves are staying green, they're not falling off, and looks like we've got some more that have really sprouted here because it used to be a little more stripped down. I'd have to go back and check, but this is potentially a good sign. Uh, the carrots, still very much a mixed bag, but we have a couple of sprouts here, a couple of small sprouts along the way coming along, so it's still sort of initial days yet, but they are coming here. The tomatoes over here, uh, the three main ones, this one over here seems to have not taken off, but uh, down here down over here to the side and then down here we've got main ones coming along so that seems good there may be another one right there as you can see so maybe we'll have a uh, one we'll just sort of move the one there to the center who knows and then the radishes uh, doing very fine we put up the cage around them sort of help them looks like there's actually one kind of half ready there although we'll let it go a little bit longer but suffice to say uh, these are all doing very well so that's pretty cool so those are the success stories. Now the not so successful stories. Uh, the flowers over here, it's still early days, but uh, looks like nothing really is taking at the moment. So we may yet plant a new range or do something else with these right here just to see what will happen. There's nothing really happening here yet, so we'll have to give it some time. Over here, it's kind of unclear. We do have a couple of sprouts right there in the center, as you can see. So there is something. So maybe we just have to be, this might be the first sign of what will be coming up later. So we're gonna cross our fingers on that. Uh, the sorrel over here, it's unclear if it just simply will take, be taking longer or just seems to need to build up, so we'll see. We're crossing our fingers on that one, but uh, nothing as yet. 
the cucumber over here, this seems to have turned into a flop. Now we had a couple of ones here over the past week over in this area, and then a bit over here that were just initially taking off, everything seemed fine, but having come back today, they're just simply not there anymore. And we had the cage around it, so it couldn't have been anything uh, too big that got them, but uh, something did, maybe snail attack or something worse, so unfortunate, but there we are. Looks like we got a couple of ones maybe sprouting right down in there though. There's some clover, but there's some other things too, so we'll cross our fingers that something may come up with that. This is supposed to be where the lemon mint is. Frankly, it looks like grass to me. I'll do some double checking, but we'll have to see about that. The sad story is over here with the beans. Unfortunately, the beans are a bust. What's happened is they were growing, they were growing good, but over the past week, something got them. We suspect it was snails and slugs. We got rid of a lot of them on, uh, on, uh, on what am I trying to say on Friday? In fact, I see a little snail or snail shell down in there. I'm going to try and try that one out later, but I suspect they've been having fun with the beans or something like it. They, uh, they shouldn't have been able to get through on the side, but maybe they crawled up over the top, who knows, or something like that. Or maybe it was slugs because we did get rid of a slug. But uh, again, you can't really see, but all there really are there are stems. So unless a miracle happens and we'll keep getting wet for a while, they, they might be out. And we'll have to put plant something else new here and we'll have to see about that. So, so there's the downside, unfortunately, at such as may be. But everything else looking just fine. Uh, so it's, uh, I would say about two-thirds is either well underway or it looks like it will be getting well underway. So no real complaints there. Everything up front looking pretty fine too. Uh, Suzanne's finishing up with uh, the pruning. Uh, Ian, as mentioned, has got himself going over there working on stuff. The neighboring good clear patch is, I got a little bit of grass growth, but uh, we suspect that'll be cleared out here. They've done such a good job keeping it up. I'm sure they'll be out in the next week. We do need to hit up those, so yeah, if you want to move the watering over and hit both of those up, that would be great. Thanks, Suzanne. It's, uh, yeah, right down there. And uh, that will be about it, so I'm going to wrap up here, so we'll do some last watering and packing up. Uh, artichoke's doing fine, nothing really to report there. And we will talk to everyone next time. We'll be due out here hopefully on Friday. Uh, we might not be. There is rain scheduled. Uh, if that is the case, we'll just late that, take care of the watering and take care of the maintenance, as it were. And uh, if that being the case, we would see everyone again next Tuesday. So until that time, we'll talk to you.